We're Amelia and Robbie. We left our lives in the city and spent every penny we had on an abandoned shepherd's house on the top of a mountain in Spain. Join us on our journey as we build our dream homestead. Our toilet experience on this mountain has been traumatic, but with a new design, we aim to make the best compost toilet the world has ever seen that will hopefully last us a lifetime. Last time on the world's most complicated compost toilet build, we built up the block walls, bought a stupidly big window, installed the front door, built ring beam shutters, put some steel in, and poured the concrete. How does it look? Madness. That is the scariest thing in the world. Oh my god. Go on then. This tree has been ruining you. This tree, every time I brush my head on it, almonds fall down into the hole. Like, can you see that almond down there? Yeah. Careful with your steel. We've just poured a quarter of that and the mix is finished, so which means that I potentially haven't brought enough materials, oh. which is 
<laughs> not good. Devastating. Because, A, I don't know if I've got enough cement. Do you remember the first column we fought? We didn't know what we were doing, so we were just like poking it with a stick from above. And then one of your builder friends came up one day and he was like, yeah, you just, you just whack on it with a hammer. <laughs> We'd just been trying for three meters poking it with a stick. And that column is like, <laughs> so stony, no? the latch properly and it blew open. We're having a nice day. What do you think of my progress? I think you've made incredible progress. gloves are off now it's uh, I'm so tired and I just can't think of anything better to do but just stamp on <laughs> he's not got any concrete seeping through so this is the last bag of cement so let's hope it's enough That is not professional. No. The first time you put concrete all over yourself, you have to bathe you in a minute. Oh, that's so cool. Let me see. It looks epic. Oh, oh my god. You should leave it. This is where we can come sunbathing. potential designs online. A thousand litre depositor, cutting and getting half, filling it with gravel and reeds and using that to clean the water from the compost toilet. No. Thinking of putting it here underneath the, this olive tree. Could look really pretty actually once we've grown lots of things around it. It's pretty close to the compost toilet. Do you think the wild boar might just destroy it though. And do we know anything about um, building reed beds? We never know anything, Robbie. Tell us about how the bin works. Well, the bin, which we're, where the compost is going, out of that will be a hose pipe, which will lead to this little reed bed. How'd you say rebar? Rebar. Learning the name for rebar at the age of two is pretty cool. It was kind of a big deal at the time because we didn't have any water at the house. Yeah, no, it was amazing because we were like, we just had a tube in the Fuente that was drip, dripping into the garden. So when we did this, we felt very accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> and it worked well for ages until one day we obviously pumped it up when there was still water in it. And the pump 
was so powerful that it just imploded. And now we can use it for a reed bed. You can see here when it exploded, the metal bars literally bent out. These cost were our attempt to shade the tank, wasn't it? Yeah. And I painted black, so no algae could get in. Oh my goodness, yeah, you painted this entire thing black. Yeah. I am currently yeah. moving a pile of logs there to a pile of logs there. Appreciate your desire to clean this place up. You've got like half a mountain. is so about to get his tractor stuck. He's trying to take it down the perilous ditch. Whoa, 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 whoa! I wish I'd been a bit quicker with my camera, but I just came home after delivering some eggs and the uh, depositor just rolled straight in front of me in the car and is now down there. <sighs> Got to put stones on everything. Whilst waiting for the roof to dry, we've decided to make some beautiful new stairs up to the toilet to replace the four metre high scramble that we've been scaling for the past three years. Firstly, we need to grab the Land Rover and take it on an expedition to go to the bottom of the land to find some huge rocks to form the steps. I think we just filmed a Land Rover advert. Do you think they'll give us a free one? Right. One that's not from 1993. Say. <laughs> Look, over there. Don't you think that one looks good? Yeah. Uh, it's not deep enough. Perfect. I mean, just, just whack it on your oh shoulder. <laughs> oh, I think that's probably about 100 kilograms. Can't we just roll? But do you think we should seriously get a mule? <laughs> All those little thin bank cows, we can't get a tractor on, we can get a mule with a little plough. Yeah. And then in times like this where we need rocks moving, they could come and... Yeah, well worth it. And Sage could ride into town. 
by his supplies. What do you do when you see the sheep? He's really good at, at herding the sheep now, isn't he? Where are those pesky sheep? This is like an oyster. Oh! Are you alright? Mm-hmm. Jesus. The rock just broke. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did it hit you? Yeah. Well, on the toe. <laughs> no, not on the f***ing <laughs> toe again. Okay. Come on, let's compare bams. I mean, yours looks worse now, but you know mine's gonna bruise heavily. Yours is superficial, mine is front deep. <laughs> mine is like right in there. Yeah, that bit, you know that's gonna be a whole bruise. I didn't want that. <laughs> What's that? I've never seen one like that. Ooh! Wow, Sage, that's Looks so like cool. like a reptile. Bam! Yeah, but I'm very brave. <laughs> oh my god. Step outside to get logs for one minute. It's a big carpenter bee, huh? The sheep, yeah. Were they here yesterday drinking water? Would you like to see my celery harvest? Sure. I think we're good here. We need to go and get some compost because it's hot. Hats go on when it gets hot. Horse manure, chicken manure, seaweed, straw, oak, like composty stuff from the forest, plants, food, anything we find to throw in there. Oh, hello. I'm taking your eggs, is that okay? You're not so sure? Hmm. Understandable. It's a free for all. Get off, girl. There we go. Hey! Hey! Oh, it's been fun. Okay, that's all for later. So I think we'll plant these ones. These look huge. These are broccoli. And Covey, down. You can get down, can't you, on that slope? Yeah. You can see the griffin vultures up there. Yeah. Down. Oh yeah. Where's my hat? Oh, they're all there in a big clump. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There was a hunt on the other day. Maybe they they found some carcasses. <sighs> big, juicy broccoli and cauliflowers.
I need to put the irrigation lines back on now. The only problem is we've got to get it through all this fennel. That's a big root, huh? Bean. Yeah, they look like beans. They're seed pods. You can go put them in that capato in that black one. Amelia went to England for five days, so I spent one whole day sleeping and took some time to heal my soul. Then I got on to 12 hour back breaking days moving stones to have the stairs ready for when she got back. Little guy, I'm about to put a very heavy stone just here.
Hey, Sage. How big? Oh. You look so big. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. What can you see them? Can you see them? Oh, they're beautiful. They're very beautiful. Can I stand on them? Um, <laughs> Come on, you can't take this video and not have me walking up them. What, so have you not walked up them? No. Come on, I'm going to walk up them. <laughs> wow, that one's pretty with the look. <gasps> wow, that is phenomenal. Is that nice? Wow! <laughs> Flat terrain. Wow, did you see that one? That was so good. Nice! You're gonna be able to take yourself to the toilet. I won't have to drink it. <laughs> so a little bit of water flying out there. Have you just finished them right now? Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Yay, Sage! Woo! Amazing! Do you like the steps, Sage? <laughs> oh. No sticks like this in Manchester. <laughs> nice. So much work to be done here, guys. You look nice. tired. Like, just nice. delicious. <laughs> I think even if I was wearing a bin bag, you'd find me delicious after five days of being on your own on the top of a mountain. Look at you, you look amazing. <laughs> and look at you next to me. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Nice. 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 Rugged. No. Mm. Like you can build me a set of stairs. <laughs>